All right. Here we are, guys, with our first Halo 4 Sapien introduction tutorial. Let's get into it. So I am in my own shortcuts folder that I have created for myself here. We have Sapien right here, Halo 4 tools. You don't need to see Halo 2 or Halo 3, Halo C or Reach. Don't mind them. We're focusing on Halo 4 Sapien. We're going to go ahead and double click this. So this is after you have already extracted these files, um, which I can show you guys how to do that very quickly here. Go ahead and go to where your H4EK folder is, and you can easily easily double click this .bat file. It'll extract, extract everything for you. So once you have done that and you open up Sapien, your Sapien will kind of look like this. It'll open up into, for me, it opens up into a documents folder. What you want to go ahead and do is actually trace where your Sapien is actually located. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste um, the directory there. So we're going to go ahead and go to this PC, my drive, and we're just going to trace it to Halo 4. And we're going to go ahead and go to tags. I'm going to go ahead and go into levels. And you get Firefight and Multi and Spartan Ops in here. DLC as well is in here as well. Now, to get to Campaign, you have to go to Environments, and then Solo, and then this is where the scenarios are for your Campaign missions. I have no idea why it's mapped out like that, but that's just kind of how it is, I guess. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up Forge World. So, as you can see, we don't have it in here. If we go ahead and actually get into DLC... We can get into Forge World here. So there it is, Forge Island. We're going to go ahead and open up this scenario. So your Sapien will open up. It will not look like this. This is my layout that I have created myself. Yours will be completely different than this. It will not look like my setup. You will have to manually set yours up the way you want. Um, do it how you want. Uh, me personally, this is just a setup that I like to have for my Sapien, at least for Halo 4. Um, it is kind of weird how these work. You actually have to drag them like this. It's just, it, it's it's really weird. And now you'll see that now that I dragged it, now it's going to go ahead and reset. Um, but if we actually go ahead and figure out a weird way, there we go, set that up. Yeah, it, it, this Sapien is definitely the weirdest mod tool Sapien that I've ever messed with. But, and the other thing is too, is these tools take a very long time to open. Um, that's one thing I've noticed actually while editing in Halo 4 tools is it takes a very long time to open these tools. So just a little bit of sidebar conversation as well, adding on to that. These tools are, in my opinion, probably the worst mod tools I've ever used. Um, in terms of like setting it up, it's just really confusing. Getting even AI to pathfind is pretty difficult as well. Um, so yeah, it's it's really weird. Once we actually get into those episodes where we go into you know AI pathfinding and stuff like that, I'll explain more on my actual thoughts on the pathfinding and stuff in this game. Like I said, it's just overall really weird. All right, so we have arrived in Sapien here. Your Forge Island might open in a different way. This is just how mine opens. So the only thing that I do have to complain about is how the game like picture here. The text is super small, so it's really hard to read. So I might have to actually, in editing, zoom in a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and start it off with turning off these errors. We're going to go ahead and press Home key. Then we're going to press Enter on Debug. And using the arrow keys on your keyboard, by the way, to manually, or to move around in this menu. We're going to go to Error Geometry Settings, and we're going to hide that. You can go ahead and press Home again. Press it again. Open this menu, go to debug, and we're going to scroll all the way down to events display and turn that off by pressing the enter key. So once we have done that, you'll notice that red text uh, will disappear from up there. Now, moving around, it's WASD. Moving up is R. Moving down is F. Pressing shift changes your speed of the camera. You can go all the way up to 200%, although I wouldn't recommend using 200% because you will fly through the map like a madman. Let's go ahead and take a look around this menu here. So... After you guys have set up your Sapien the way you want, I would recommend saving the scenario that you opened and closing the uh, application to save your, your layout, although that is entirely up to you. So for me in the top left, the properties palette, this kind of just deals with the properties of the map. Um, sandbox budgets, being able to change it from solo, multiplayer, main menu, single player, shared, multiplayer, shared. Scrolling down, we just got a ton of different settings that we can kind of mess with with spawns. Uh, render fluff, so that's AI pathfinding data. 
stuff like that, subtitles, camera effects, all kinds of little stuff like that. But if we go ahead and actually go into the hierarchy view, so just another sidebar conversation as well. Properties and uh, properties palette and hierarchy view are going to be your two main menus that you want to have. Make sure that they're large. At least for me, I like to have them relatively large. Be able to easily edit through with uh, with Sapien. So. If we go ahead and actually drop down this scenario thing here, we got objects, we got AI, we got game data, we got caching zone slash resources and structured data. So these are all tons of different things that you can mess with. For example, if we actually open up units and we go into bipeds, we can go ahead and spawn a biped. Now, if you want to actually spawn in a biped, I already have a preset uh, biped that I can just go ahead and spawn in. And if we actually scroll down on this biped, and press list for the variant name. I already have red team and blue team set up properly for these to actually have some proper bipeds to be able to mess around with. So these are for possibly AI Slayer. I'm not sure if I'll do it, but we'll see. Um, but this is how you spawn a biped. Vehicles, it's pretty much the same thing as well. You just right click on the map. This is to spawn stuff. You just press on here and you'll notice you're not gonna have any vehicles yet because you have to actually edit types. Press add and this is to add bipeds scenery everything all tags vehicle weapon tags into this map to be able to spawn them we're going to go ahead and go into human and we'll go ahead and get a storm mongoose we're going to go ahead and press done then go ahead and press ok press on the name of the file here which for me it's this file and we're going to open up the type and change it to storm mongoose and you'll notice a mongoose has been summoned into your map we go ahead and press tab we can spawn our preview spartan in if we press it again we can come out of that preview spartan you'll notice that you actually spawn weaponless so i actually spawned a magnum when i was testing earlier and now we have a magnum in our hands so that we we don't look derpy to go ahead and get weapons in you drop down the menu of items go to weapons same thing just right click for me i already have a magnum imported you'll have to import your own weapons these are the weapons that I personally have imported. Um, like I said, if you just press add, it should open up to the proper menu for weapons. Um, so we're going to press done because we don't need to spawn any more weapons. So we got a magnum there. Let's say that we want to spawn a DMR. And the way that you can quickly switch between all these is you just use your scroll wheel when you hover over it. We'll have a BR spawn there. We have a Okay, so let's just let, let's back it up a little bit. Let's just review what we've spawned. We have a biped, a Spartan multiplayer biped, which you have to custom make. By the way, I made that myself. Tutorial coming out in the future. We have a mongoose. We have ourself, a magnum, and a battle rifle. We go ahead and press tab again. We will lose our weapon, but we can go ahead and just walk over this stuff and pick it up for ourselves. There we go. Now we have a BR and a magnum. We also have this biped in here that you can also interact with by shooting it. Um, currently there is no sounds for Sapien. I have not fixed or figured out a fix for this. So I don't know how to actually get sounds to work in Sapien. But as you can see, we have a biped here and we can shoot it and mess with it. Um, and we also have a mongoose. We can go ahead and get on this mongoose as well and drive around with it, which is pretty cool. And even go ahead and run over this, this Spartan biped here and kill him but yeah that is uh pretty much the sapien basics that's kind of all i really wanted to cover in this video is just the simple stuff with sapien and how to get it actually running properly and get it to work um so yeah of course if you guys have suggestions for module tutorials um i have a ton of stuff lined up with ai pathfinding um proper maps to use for pathfinding uh currently multiplayer maps are really scuffed in the sense that you can't really get proper pathfinding working. You can't even really get AI working very well. Um, it's mostly just campaign maps and Spartan Ops maps that properly work with pathfinding, which is really disappointing because me personally, I would love to make some AI Slayer mods, but I can't do that um, within multiplayer maps currently. So I'm hoping that they can fix that and maybe change that up and make it a little bit easier, just a little bit easier to spawn in some AI so I can show you guys how to do that. So. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for me. That is Sapien Basics. It is pretty basic, um, what we kind of went over, just kind of like the Halo Reach tools. It's a basic overview on how to use the tools and how to spawn stuff in. So anyways, if this video helped you out at all, please drop a like on it and hit that subscribe button for more mod tool tutorials coming from your boy, Icy Vice. And uh, that's going to be it for me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.